Hi guys, um, welcome again. It's Paxton from paxtonsdownloads.info and I'll be showing you guys today how to, how to um, import your Adobe Illustrator um, file that you have created from, from it within Adobe Illustrator um, into um, Adobe Photoshop with with all your layers intact so it's editable it's really really editable in um, Adobe Photoshop it's not just one flat image whenever you um, import that file now I have um, two files here that I have created um, one of them is called globe and um, one of them is um, iPhone button um, I'm going to import um, the globe so I'm going to double click on that and it has opened up in Adobe Illustrator uh, it's uh, a gel 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 looking um, creation is is very very glossy and, um, and looking very well now I want to import this and to keep all my layers intact So when I import this, all my layers will be intact in Adobe Photoshop, so I can edit all uh, um, all these layers independently. So first thing I'm going to do is going to file, <coughs> export, and then I'm going to if um, that that PSD is not <coughs> selected by default, I want you guys to click on um, save as type and find PSD and click on that and click save choose the location I'm going to save it on my desktop for this example and then click save <coughs> now you're going to get this small dialogue dialog box you're going to ensure that RGB is selected and um, for this example I'm going to choose <coughs> screen 72 ppi and then i'm going to it right now is set as a flat image we don't want that so we're going to click <coughs> we're going to check right layers and then choose maximum editability and we're going to click ok uh, some contains in adobe illustrator have been flattened ok okay right now we are going to export it it has been exported only takes a few minutes now as we can see globe is now in an adobe in a photoshop um photoshop format now i'm going to drag this down to adobe photoshop and we will see the results let me just wait a minute here <coughs> So it's rendering and here is our image so I'm going to go to our files panel and as you can see here we have all our files or all our layers independently see as you can see here we can uncheck these and we can see that all layers are independently um, um independently imported into adobe photoshop so you can go ahead and do your editing and um, do whatever you want to do with with your file and that's it guys and um hope to see you guys sometime again soon on uh on next um tutorial so have a have a wonderful